guys welcome and welcome back to the channel in today's video I'll be showing you how to make Haitian style barbecue ribs here I have two rack of ribs I'm gonna be showing you from start to finish let's get started I'll be using three lemon I'm gonna add some lemon juice I already poured some vinegar I'm gonna add some salt and we're gonna start cleaning get started you have to clean your meat first but for ribs, you don't have much to take out. Well, I personally like to take the fat out. Besides the fat, you can't. You don't have much to clean when it comes to ribs. I am done cleaning and seasoning with the lemon. Now I'm rinsing out the meat. I have some water boiling, and I add the hot water just because. When I eat my meat, I don't like to taste the, the bloody taste, if you know what I mean. Now, after you pour the water in the meat, you leave it for about five minutes. Then you transfer it to the pan that you'll be cooking your meat. This right here is the reason why I like to pour the hot water because I do not like tasting the bloody flavor okay now we are going to season putting all your spices in there now I'm going to add all my seasoning first thing first my Haitian spice of course now I don't measure I just add it depends on how, how much meat that you're making and pepper seasoning and then I will add one tablespoon of sofrito and of course my hot pepper I love spicy food and now I'm gonna be using my gloves because of the pepper so I'm just gonna mix everything now if you don't have the Haitian spice you can use any other seasoning that you like but for me I don't cook meat without my Haitian spice it's a must for me my favorite seasoning which is Obey I didn't measure that I'm just gonna add a little bit Seasoning. Now I'm gonna put it on medium low for about 30 minutes and you also add one cup of water you don't want to add too much water and you let it cook for 30 minutes in the meantime so I heat up my oven for to 400 another update guys Can you see this it's the smell for me mm -mm -mm. Now, I said that you leave it for about 30 minutes only because you're going to put it in the oven, you know? So, yeah. I'll check back with you guys soon. Now, guys, this is the barbecue sauce I'll be using. The sweet and spicy. And also the, the bold and spicy. Now that the meat is almost ready for oven, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get the sauce ready, which it's already made, but... I chopped out some onion, mix it. I'm not gonna put all of it because I'm not making that much ribs. I'm gonna mix it together. Stir it with the onion. The onion is also optional, but I just love the taste of onions. I don't know, it's something about garlic and onions for me. I love cooking with onions and this is how it looks, which it's already made, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need some more. My ribs are very juicy. Very, very juicy. Oh my god, that's my son. Okay guys, now it's done cooking. How do you know it's done cooking? You just 
you can take a fork or even that you just try to see how tender it is that's how I know it's cool or you can even taste it which I did off camera <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna transfer it to Pyrex. You can use Pyrex or, or aluminum plates, which I don't have. I love my whips juicy. Like it has to have a lot of, a lot of barbecue sauce on top. Okay. You see that? Do you guys see this? That is. Do you guys see this? That is so yummy. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven for about all right you guys this is the finished look oh yummy as always thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment if you like this recipe please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on my next video Mwah.